Heyo, I'm Colby from Sanitarium Productions. We're back again with another G.I. Joe action figure review. In this episode, we are taking a look at the G.I. Joe Club.com exclusive figure subscription service uh, series 8, way, wave 8, however you want to look at that. Uh, figure 3, this is bulletproof. So, Bulletproof was one of the figures that came out originally as part of the Battle Corps line in 91-ish, thereabouts. Um, I don't know a whole lot about the character. The, it came out about the time I had started drifting away from the original Vintage line. So, uh, this is an interesting character to me because of the fact that I don't really know much about him. So, um comes on a traditional file card here. Uh, nice artwork on the side here. I do like the design. He does have the really big uh, cannon there that is uh, kind of reminiscent of all of those uh, crazy Battle Force figures or Battle Corps or whatever it was. Uh, so pretty cool looking. We'll flip this thing over on the back side and you can see the uh, enlarged photo there along with the actual file card here. We'll uh, Zoom in a bit here if it'll, you can pause it right now if you'd like to take a closer look at the actual file card. Pretty cool looking though. Uh, so yeah, very nice looking anyways. Again, I don't know that much about it, so uh, we can't really comment, but it's an interesting figure. I really do like the artwork on this. It does work really well. So let's go ahead and get this guy opened and uh, take a look and see what comes with this figure. So we do have the traditional figure stand. We got this cool tray. It pops out and it looks like a knife came in here that uh, must have popped out somewhere. So we'll uh, toss this to the side for right now and uh, take a look at the figure itself. Go ahead and get him out of here. Pretty nice looking. We do have this uh, large uh, bazooka looking thing here. Missile firing, that is nice. Looks pretty nice. And we've got this uh, actually fairly cool looking weapon here. So that's uh, kind of all we get in the package here. Not a whole lot going on, but uh, that's okay. What we do have looks pretty cool, so uh, let's go ahead and zoom in if we can a little bit here so we can get a closer look at this guy. There we go. So, starting off with the figure stand here, it's a traditional G.I. Joe 25th anniversary line. Uh, standard raised G.I. Joe logo on the top there, two foot pegs, bulletproof code name on the front, and everything else is pretty reminiscent of all the other figure stands we get. So, uh, yeah, I really like those. Let's look at accessories first. Uh, we'll start with this uh, assault rifle. I guess that's what it is. It's got some nice detail work on it. The... Uh, Suppressor here has some nice detail work on it. Some nice stuff going on all the way around. Pretty nice looking. I don't actually recall seeing this particular weapon before, but I'm sure we have. Still a nice weapon, though. Looks really cool. I like it. The uh, large weapon we get here is this uh, missile launcher thing. It has some impressive looking details on it. Got a nice little uh, rest padding thing here. Cool looking handle. It is made out of that real soft plastic here, so it's not going to break. But uh, And then this cool like Gatling gun piece on the side here. You got your actual missile firing bit right there. So press that. Pops out. Pretty nice spring action there. Uh, the missile itself is uh, pretty nondescript. But pretty interesting anyways. That's kind of cool. I like that. 
I'm not really a big fan of these large oversized weapons, but uh, in this case it actually works pretty well. So, yeah, no big deal there. Uh, we also have this knife here that uh, fell out of the package here before we actually opened things. Uh, not a whole lot going on, but uh, nice anyways. On his bottom uh, right leg, he does have a nice holster there for this knife. I'm assuming that's where it was when it uh, popped out of the package. It fits in there kind of loose, actually. which uh, But it manages to stay in there with a pretty hefty action there so that's nice uh, on the side he also has a pistol here and a holster which is great I always appreciate when we got nice holsters for these weapons here so and my opinion is to say this is a Glock but I don't think it actually is so uh, if y'all y'all out there want to comment down below to let me know exactly what type of gun this is some nice detail work on it can adjust the light a little bit here very nice and again it does fit in the side holster there very nicely very securely so very cool there I do like that uh, looking at the figure itself since uh, we're pretty much out of accessories here he does have a cool bandero bandolier of grenades looks really nice uh, his helmet is non removable uh, the facial sculpt here is not the best in the world, but I do like the helmet anyways. So, some really cool detail work on it. It's really not that bad of a sculpt. Just a little odd to me, I guess, but uh, not too bad. Uh, the rest of the details on his, uh, what is that? collar thing there it looks pretty nice um pretty cool details here with uh, some belt buckles and things like that uh, nice details on the pants and clothing cool boots again that really cool detailed holster there for the knife and for the pistol there very nice there's the back side of it some nice detail work as well so all in all, a very cool looking figure, to be honest with you. I'm actually digging this guy pretty well here. Uh, articulation wise, the head does spin at 360 degrees. We do have up and down motion. Not really much side to side, but uh, it still works for what it is. No problems whatsoever. Standard ball and swivel at the shoulder joint there. Standard ball and swivel at the elbow joint. We do have a swivel at the wrist and a rocker here from side to side or up and down on the wrist, I guess. So uh, towards your thumb and away from your thumb, I guess, is a good way of looking at it. Uh, ab twist there. Plenty of ab crunch motion. Standard T-hook at the waist, so no problems with articulation there. We do get a double knee joint. And we get a swivel and a rocker here on his ankle joint. So, yeah, it's uh, what we expect articulation-wise from uh, these G.I. Joe figures. It does work really well. Um, yeah, so, I mean, it's an interesting figure here. I do like the, the color scheme on it here. Um, I think the head sculpt is just throwing me off a little bit here, but it's... It's really not a bad figure here. And again, I don't know that much about the character itself, so I really can't comment. But uh, I'm kind of digging this guy. So, yeah, he wouldn't have been my first pick to go into the uh, this particular wave. But uh, it's not a bad figure here. Go ahead and uh, gear him up here with his crazy missile launcher thing here looks pretty nice he can uh, grab his other weapon also so it's uh, very nice when they have all their accessories they can carry around with them uh, on the package it does show that this guy was carrying this thing as an 
underhanded weapon. So let's uh, see what that looks like. This uh, handle here is that real flimsy plastic, so it makes it a little bit aggravating to actually fit it into his hand. I don't know how well that'll actually hold up over time if that has a tendency to break off or what, but uh, it works. So uh, there we go. There is the, the underarm version. So yeah, all in all, this is a pretty cool figure. Not bad at all. That's all the time we've got for today, so thanks for watching. Drop some comments down below. Let us know what you think of this figure 8-03 from the figure subscription service, Bulletproof. I'm digging the figure, but uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, if you'd like to see anything special in future episodes, drop that down in the comment section as well. I'll see what I can do to get to it for you. And uh, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Be on the lookout for more awesome videos coming down the pipeline. Until next time, yo Joe.